All right, I made it. I don't know what calle this is. What is this? Here I am on Avenida Chipilapa ah, in the Primera Calle at the world famous Pollo Campero. This is where Pollo Campero was made. Not at this particular one, but here in Guatemala. I've tried Pollo Campero in other lugares. I've even tried it in the United States. But I want to try it here in Guatemala, the original place where it was made. Let's see what this Pollo Campero is all about. Let's see if it's better here. Let's see if it's more crispier. Let's see if it's gonna make my palate just say, mmm, tastes so good. Let's see. Primera Calle Zona Dos here in Guatemala, Jalapa. So, I have to wait because it is super packed up in there and there's not enough space to just walk up in here and say I want a meal of chickens. Pasa adelante, oh yeah, let's go. Bienvenidos. Thank you, gracias. Es normal? Bye. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so this is how Pollo Campero looks in its original fashion, original form. I can't wait to try this chicken, guys. I can't wait to try. Oh, in the kids' playhouse? It's para niños. Ah, okay. No niños. Okay. Oh, air conditioner. Desportes. Vaya. This is a bueno choice. <laughs> Gracias. Oh, it's a mass menu? Oh, wow. So see, if you do the QR code, you'll get more things on the QR code than you would in the menu here. That's cool. Cabal. Cabal. All right. And don't forget, guys, I do have my tamales from the street that will eat that for you guys to see how it tastes. Yeah, okay. Mande? Bien, y tú? Yes. No? Todo bien. Muchas gracias. ¿Por qué? No necesito hambre. Salud. Muchas gracias. No necesito cinco. I got my tamales de Guatemala. Tabu. Hey. I don't usually like tamales because um, usually it's just tamales de elote. But she said that there was cerdo in there. So I'm willing to try it because I know that in Nicaragua they have naca tamales, which is pretty much mostly chicharron inside. So we'll see how it tastes. This is gonna be my first time. Buy it. And I got my rambutan, of course. Oh yeah. Figus. Oh, so that's dulce. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, see. Uh, just, just uno or dos? It's uno, the time. Dos? Uno? Uh -huh. Okay, agredus. All right, guys, so I'm gonna try this right here. No, no hago más. Mm -mm. Solamente. So I wanna try some chicken wings. That's what I'm gonna eat with my tamales. All right. Yeah, that's it. Gracias, muchas gracias. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, so while I wait for that chicken, I'm gonna eat this tamales from the street inside of the Pollo Campero, because I'm like that. Let's do it. So. I'm just gonna eat a little bit of smas because I don't want it to get it too cold because it has pork in there. Alright, let's go ahead and unfold this tamales. Alright, look at that. Oh wow, it's pretty juicy, huh? Let's take a look. So you can see within the tamales we have a corn mixture with some pork. So I definitely want to go ahead and eat it before it gets too cold. So I'm not really sure how to eat it. So what I'll do is just eat it with the fork.
Alright. It's pretty good. I can tell you, it's almost like a cornmeal, but if it didn't come with the pork, I probably wouldn't like it. But it's good. This is a treat to have if you're on a job site and you're looking for like a, a quick meal. This is it's like a great snack. Oh yeah, that hits the spot. And right here we got like a pork bone right in there. That's surprising because if I would have eaten this <laughs> with my hands, I probably would have chewed right through that bone. Nice spot. Overall, for this tamales con coche, coche, I'm gonna go ahead and rate it for you. All right, the texture is good, but it's a little gooey. It kind of falls all over the place. It's not strong. As soon as I hit it with a fork, it turns into little pieces, and I don't know. I can't really knock it because that's probably how it is, but. I don't like the overall texture because it's just falling apart. But the taste is good. It's kind of mild, not spicy, not hot, but there's nothing wrong with it. So if you're asking me out of 10, what would I rate this tamales con coche? I rate it 6.5 out of 10. It's not that it's nasty, it's just, it just keeps falling apart. But it's good though, it's a, it's a good midday snack. All right, that's it guys. Let's move on to the chicken. All right. All right, so this is called Agre Dulce. Gracias, buen provecho. All right, so this is Agre Dulce. So this, I don't know what this is. I guess it's barbecue sauce or sorts but it already has like barbecue sauce all over it. So what I'll do is I'll eat it without it first and then eat it with it. So let's do it. All right. Pollo Campero chicken wings in Guatemala, baby. Mmm. Made perfectly. It's definitely fresh. Definitely fresh. But what I'm tasting right now, it's almost like a little bit of lemon. I don't know if they flavor it with lemon or lime, but I'm tasting it for some reason. It's kind of tart. It's not the tastiest um, chicken wings I've ever had. It's just normal and made very well. Let's try it with the agre dulce sauce. Mmm, look at that. It's kind of runny, not too thin. Not too thick, let's do it. Mmm, que rico. That sauce is good. This sauce is better than the sauce that they originally put on this chicken wing. It's good though. Mmm, this makes the taste a whole lot better. Mmm, it's good, it's good. Mmm, let's give it a rating. Overall, without the sauce, truthfully, it's made well. There's nothing wrong with the way it's made and the texture. It's perfect. But it doesn't really give you so much of a taste like, oh wow, this is like mama's, mama's cooking, mama's chicken, mama's kitchen, backyard barbecue. I can't wait for this Juneteenth celebration once again. It doesn't have that kick of a flavor that makes you remember, oh wow, these chicken wings are the best. Mm -mm. So that knocks it down a little bit. But being that it was made well, I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10 without the sauce. But with the sauce, it jumps up to a 7 out of 10. So, it's pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. But, I'm satisfied. So, that's it for day one here in Jalapa, Guatemala. I had a wonderful time getting all the way from the airport all the way here without having any reservation any plans at all but i did it five points gracias oh yeah see as you can see super nice people telling me bon parvecho as they're leaving super cool 
Bonus. Una salida cerrado. Siete. All right, un, una hora y medio. Vaya, gracias. All right, so I got about an hour and a half to go to this super, what is this, super La Perla and get some water because if I don't, then I'm gonna freaking die of thirst. All right, see ya. All right, so here's the super. All I'm looking for is just water. This is what they have, pretty much similar things, ranchitas from Honduras. Where's the agua? Oh, galley. All right, so I got some water and some use tamarindo and some different type of things to make your water taste like juice. So this is how it looks here in La Perla. La Perla. And they don't have gallons of water, so I have to get these big three liters. That's the only way to do it. I don't see no gallons at all. No gallons. So, this is it. See, all right, quiero mantener la bolsa. All right, uh, accept our tarjeta de crédito, vaya. La bolsa es más um, costas o no? La bolsa, la bolsita, es más o no? No. Oh, it's, it's, it's gratis. gratis. So for these two things plus the three mixes of powder, it's $14.75, gracias. So that's essentially about exactly $2 for these big waters right here. So I guess that's okay. Okay, bye, Green. Gracias, yeah. It's getting dark. If you wanna watch the previous video to how I got to this point here in Jalapa, click the link right above my head so you can watch the previous video. But day one is over. I appreciate you guys. Thank you all my chapines from Guatemala for being here and watching my video. I tell you, Guatemala is the place to be. Bye, pues. Have a blessed day. Mm. Pretty good.